All right, so um, next we have a couple of terms, collinear points. Uh, I kind of already mentioned this a little bit, but those are points that lie on the same line. Lie on the same line. Uh, and you can probably guess what coplanar means. But uh, so example, if I have a line here, uh, A is collinear with B is collinear with C. Um, but would not be collinear with D, right? D would, um, D would not meet the qualifications. D is not collinear. A, B, and C are collinear. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting is actually any two points will be collinear. Because remember, we can define a line uh, by just using two points. So A and D, we actually could say are it's collinear. The line is not drawn, but they do fall on a line. Um, so uh, yeah, the, any two points are collinear, um, but that third point may not be. You know, so A, B, and C happen to be the way I've drawn this, but um, A, B, and D are not collinear points. Uh, coplanar are points that lie on the same plane. So we really have to think about this in three-dimensional space. Um, so if I have a plane, right? Um, and again, this is hard to draw 2D. So if I have my plane, uh, I might have A is on that but there, B is over there, C is down here. All right, and so those are all on that flat plane. You kind of have to trust me on that based on the drawing. I'll, 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 we'll look at some other ways of visualizing this eventually. And you kind of see down here, um, they, they've maybe drawn it a little better where we start to see some things that are... You know, it's kind of suggesting that that line is actually traveling down through this plane and this point T here is off that plane. So I'm going to try and draw that here, you know, like point D up here. You know, it's like if I imagine that it's like a flat sheet and it's up here above, it's not coplanar. Um, you know, D is not coplanar with uh, A, B, and C. So um, A, B, and C are coplanar. Um, so that's, that's true of points. We can also talk about lines that are coplanar. So if I draw the line through B and C, that line is coplanar with A. So we can actually have a line coplanar with a point. Um, and kind of an interesting thing, um, you know, like we kind of said over here, any two points are going to be collinear. Um, well, any three points are coplanar, since we can define it from that. But then that fourth point may not be. Well, also any line and another point off that line so another if you take a third point that's not collinear with with the um, with that line uh with the points on that line um will be coplanar right so you could use there's some line and once you have a line there is if you know if you have a third point out there in space there is a plane there exists a plane a single plane that actually will hit that, will, will conclude that point, will contain that point. Um, so we've got a line and a point coplanar, and then we can even add two lines, right? So if I have the line AB, uh, and so um, line AB is coplanar with line BC in this case. Um, so let's look at a couple of examples of these uh, things applied. So we've got our space here, and what we're trying we're, we're trying to visualize this is like a 3D model. Like we've got this um, plane in the middle, plane P. Uh, we might you know we might refer to that as plane P. We, there's you know, some other ways we could do that, but um, and then we've got this point. Like so, a lot of this stuff is on plane P. R, Q, S, V, line L. All of that stuff is on that plane. But then we've got this line shooting down through it. It's kind of like it punctured right through a piece of paper. Um, and, and you kind of see they do the dotted line here because like from our visual perspective, we technically shouldn't be able to see that, but it's back there. That line goes through uh, that, that plane, line M or TN or whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's what we're trying to visualize. Uh, and so what are some other ways that we can name certain things like line QT? So line QT, they've got those two points. All right, so that's that line that, that I'm saying is kind of puncturing through that plane. Well, uh, several ways. We can reverse it. So we can always QT, we could call it TQ. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, not as interesting, but we could reverse that direction. Um, we could pick another point that's on that line. So instead of Q, I could use N. So I could call this line TN or line NT, 
or QN or um, NQ. There's, there's there's a number of combinations you could try and think of all of them if you want to pause and, and see if you can figure them all out. Um, but then we also have a little M down here, a lowercase m, so we can also just call that line M. That's another way that we could refer uh, to that uh, since they've given us that label there for it. Uh, so moving on, what's an, uh, what are two other ways to name plain P? Well, we've, we've already got just the one piece, the plain P. Um, so we're going to need to go the three-point method. So we need three points on the plane. If I just pick two points, if I choose, uh, I don't know, V and S, which are both here depicted to be on plane P, if I pick V and S, there, yes, those are both on that plane, but there's another plane. Or there, there's actually infinitely many planes that would go through those two points, um, but not be the same exact plane as plane P. We have to be sure that it's the same exact one. Um, so uh, we could pick those two points. I could pick V and S, but I could also grab another point on that, like R or Q both appear to be on that plane. So we could choose plane uh, V, S, R or plane V, uh, I don't know why I wrote P, um, I'll, I'll make that an R, plane R, Q, and this is actually, I can't go, um, I can't go RQS, RQS, those points are collinear, so you've got to choose three points that aren't collinear. Um, so maybe I should even a, a, a put a little addendum up here, any three non-collinear Collinear um, points, because that that's not enough. R, Q, and S. There are actually infinitely many planes that that uh, unique planes that, that would go through that. So uh, R, Q. I have to go out here and grab V. Um, in fact, I, I think I'm going to have to use V no matter what. Yeah. Um, so a couple of ways there, but you you could think about some more ways, and the ordering of the letters doesn't really matter. All right. So then we're going to name three collinear points. So points that are in a straight line. So we could pick this line here, that vertical line. So we could say, you know, T, uh, Q, and N. All right, so those three points are collinear. We could also go with the other line. So, you know, for example, or we could have said R, Q, and S. Um, those points are also collinear. And name a point not complainer with R, S, and V. So R, S, V, okay, they're talking about plane P. So they want a point that's not on this flat surface. And so the two that are drawn here, you can pick T or N. T up here, up higher up on that line, and N down below. Um, T uh, or N, I guess I'll say it that way. Um, so those are... Um, some answers to those uh, those questions, those those types of ideas.